Okay, so this is my camp. This is my last legacy camp. Um, oh, wait, let me. Oh, well, let's see something here. Just change this out real fast. There we go. So you can see everything. So this is my last legacy camp. I'm about to tear it down, sadly. I made this before a lot of things were um, available to us. Like those catwalks that we used to offset, we didn't, I didn't have those. So I had to actually try to line these up to offset. As you can see, that's why I did a little crooked. Same thing with this side over here. This one's actually a little more flush than the other side. Um, I think I made this right when these came out, these walls right here. I forgot what they're called, but this is my last legacy camp. This camp is so over budget is ridiculous. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. So let's start off with the outside, the exterior. So we have the wall here, which of course I used to put my address on. And I did the trimming with the the pipes, I forgot what they're called. But yeah, I used the pipes a lot for the trimming. Couldn't get them perfect, as you can see right here. You can see that they're a little off right here. But when you're looking at it from a distance, you really can't tell. Use the same piping around here for some more trimming and more decoration. Um, really couldn't get everything um, as flush as I wanted to around this corner, but looked good to me. Now, mind you, the building itself, just the structure, took up all my budget. That was the budget by itself because of these pipes and of course I separated some just for you know for the look but I use these all the way up that was a day or two of building by itself just putting these pipes in um but I like to look I did like to look this build here took weeks um of course like I said I, a lot of tricks that we use now wasn't available. And of course, something's trying to kill me right when I'm trying to show off my camp. Hold on, so fucking disrespectful. Alright. Back to what I was doing. So, only thing is, I was on the roof one time and I fell between there. And once you fall there, you're stuck. It's like no getting out. <laughs> it was actually kind of hilarious. Um, I had to actually fast travel away just to get back. See, look at this. Shot man left some blood here. Now they stay on my floor. All right, so continuing with the outside. I love these benches here. I actually have one in real life. Um, the um, cast iron bench. So I love mine so much. I always put them in my camps. There's just things in this camp that are me. Just I put in every single camp. Uh, we had just got these, uh, I was upset. I wanted, I was trying to make that like grass wall thing, but you have this board of wood there, which I don't like. So I put it around the whole camp. Well, I think on just on that side. And of course, since we don't have a um, square camp space, I had to kind of do that to fit in a circle. So... Still doing exterior. Um, I wanted offset. I wanted it to look like three separate buildings in one. And as you can see, I was trying to put it over here too, but it wasn't working. It just wasn't connecting at all. I'm not sure why. I'm going to double it up here. That's why I say I wish I could. Oh, one thing. When I built this camp, I did not know this was here. So, um, my can't the circle stops right here. Uh, let's see if we can see it. 
Oh no, the circle stops out there. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, because I'm in um private world, so I mean the custom worlds, so uh, I made the radius bigger, because I know for sure that regular words is here. The only reason I didn't, I'm not on a private server. I'm in custom stuff, private server, just so that in case I change my mind last second, I don't tear it down. You know, <laughs> I'll be okay. But let's go this way to the left. So I did offset these up here a little higher, just so I could have this little step up, because I wanted it to be flush with uh oh man are you serious well as you can see it's over budget but i want i was making it flushed with this to make it like a real driveway um i didn't think custom worlds would actually get that there so this is a stash box i just merged it into the concrete to make it look like a car driving in um my dog no, a lot of budget out here. I think more than anything, the exterior tore away at the budget. It's like, like I said, uh, just the um, building itself, just the structure itself was the full budget because of all the pipes. But out here, I had to do that uh, budget clip so many times. So let's start off with what's obvious is I merged these lights into the foundation and there are more over here and there's more over there so um another thing that did it all these trees i placed down with the uh shrubs just to give it you know a nice little look um big on green came all the way around um I had another thing here that looked like a stairway going down in, into my um into one of these, well, the one with the doors, but I didn't like the way it looked. It didn't match the house, so I tore it down, and I put this here. Then after that, I really couldn't do anything else because I didn't feel like doing a budget glitch because once anybody did the budget glitch, once you get to a certain point, you have to do that glitch for like an hour straight before you can start even seeing any new budget. But Adam trees, um, as you can see, they're everywhere, all around. Merge these lights into the floor. Don't know how I did it, because um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I was able to merge this into the foundation so it kind of looks a little it, it looks flush on the edges i mean i couldn't get any further down but you know so here's my workstation um my present camps the ones i make now to stay within budget i don't have any of these here i just keep them in my um i keep shelter i keep forgetting the name of it i just keep all the stuff in the shelter now so i merge these it's just so they could look uniformed. Because um, they all look so different. So I wanted it all look to match and look right. Again, like I, I keep saying, I wish I could do these camps over again with all the stuff that we know now. Uh, I wasn't good. I wasn't really good at hiding the thing here. The, um, my mind really going blank. I really need coffee this morning. Well, actually, I only coffee. I just had coffee. It was just bitter. I didn't good coffee. But yeah, the generators, I wasn't good at hiding them in here. Now I know how to a lot better. But, you know, when I made this camp, I didn't. The merging, I converged them into foundations. But I had, you know, I had other problems. But now I know I could merge this into the foundation, left a little piece hanging out in the foundation back here. Connected it, connecting it to to the wall, and hit it with the shelter so you can't even see the connection or anything. But no, no. 
And you know, this is a while ago because I don't even use these converters anymore at all because they don't make ultrasight. So. so here's some more, more trees, uh, more lights, and then step down. Now, this house itself is not that high up as you can see. Um, but this, I brought this around from the driveway. Another thing is, I never use power armors. I just had it as a decoration. I don't even put these up anymore. Here goes another iron chair that I love so much. My little um, area to shop. More lights. Um... I have a bedroom, but sometimes I didn't feel like going all the way up there. So I would just sleep here in the hammock. And I was using a cook as uh, f as my um, companion at the time. And she never leaves that damn stove. So I had to put this grill here so I could cook. Now, as you can see, again, we didn't have those catwalks to kind of um, make this perfect. So you see the gap here. Here's the other side. And that's it for that. Now, my favorite area here, the greenhouse. I love my greenhouses. There's another thing that I do on on every build. I make a little green area that's like a storage area. So stack my pictures there. And my little storage area here. The little merge glitch here with the um with the shelf with the um little pottery. See I put my cat in there. I have another cat up there. There's my little sitting area. And then here goes everything piled in. Here goes my um my garden tools. <laughs> and even though it was um of course uh these little glitches that they have, but there's a happy glitch that the trees kind of glitch into the walls here because it adds more greenery to it. I love it. So let's go back around. So we could go to the front and then to the front door. I'm so happy the doors are open because I won't be able to open them. Another chair here. Love those chairs. Entrance way is welcoming. Of course, I double walled everything. So that's a more budget. So we come in here. This is the entrance hall. Get welcomed by him, and then another nice area up here. Some more greenery, some more junk, more everything. Now, when I was selling, uh, I used to sell high end stuff for cheap. Um, I just got tired of making the stuff, but I used to sell for cheap for everybody, so everybody could have fun. Everybody could get a nice weapon, a real nice. A nice weapon because we know RNG sucks, and I used to just, I used to just make them all the time and sell them for cheap, like a thousand, maybe five hundred for near God rolls. I use God rolls for trading, but near God rolls was cheap. So everybody would flock up back here, and they would um, be using these. So what I did was I hid. Oops, can't get up there. Oops. There we go. I hit one up here so I could stock, keep stocking it while they're back there shopping. And it looks nice up here. You barely can see it. And it's a nice little area. A nice little sub, you know, perch, guarding area, whatever you want to talk, say. So let's go over to the kitchen area. So. Another thing, everybody knows I use these. This is another thing that I put in all my kitchens. I merged uh, dressers into these uh, 
into the counters so they make like drawers because of course you know what kind of counters don't have drawers and here goes the wallpaper glitch uh, that Bethesda needs to fix but here's all the counters all the drawers uh, floor in the cabinets up top oh all right that didn't look so good now mind you so I can record this long video I am streaming on my iPad so um, that's the only way because I didn't, really didn't feel like because I unhooked my um my capture card and I didn't feel like hooking everything up so um, here's more of a kitchen sink another thing that uh, I'll put it on my kitchens more drawer space I just tried something different here to make these counters but I didn't like them because they got the space in the middle if you look right here but I wanted um, I wanted an island a big island and these are the only things at the time I could think of but I have other things now that I could use so here's a little space here um, since it was already a little tight that's why I didn't double these up and put the drawers in so I use these just as um, shelves and here goes this chick I'm telling you she'll talk to me now but as soon as I try to go to use the stove she's gonna be on it she's gonna say I can't use it I don't use her anymore anymore anyway I use the other companion because the other companion you get 5% um, XP with him the new guy so let's go upstairs to my dining room of course there's a lot of things in here I would have changed uh, well I would change right now just to have more stuff uh, like using that Thanksgiving dinner because this makes it look more like a bar um, I wanted a bar area in here but I wanted this to look like a dining room but tables weren't good enough but now that we have those Thanksgiving ones I will use that and then the Kwanzaa stuff for the extra uh, food but this is my dining room area and this was my bar area too don't know what happened to all my mannequins clothes uh, clothing but it's all gone oh and this is also before I got the set with those little uh ball food it's like the Chinese dough ball things that I use for plating I would have put it down here on the plates too but uh, let's see let's go into my live room over here is my live room little safe piano I don't even decorate with this anymore I mean I think everybody has all the bobbleheads oh there's one missing oh well can't put it in there now um let's see well you know flat screen TV hanging up um, all my generators are um, my own power is all inside the um, the floors they merge into the floors so that's why you don't see anything anywhere I do have one on the roof though because the has got I mean it still makes stories that the top uh, floor wasn't getting um, electricity so I had to put one on the roof so here's the decorations kind of modest um, I actually love this couch I want one in real life but they're quite expensive so let's go up here this is my game room above my living room decide so decorate it with all the um, the uh, movie theater posters all the way up I actually like this room it's one of my favorite rooms because this is how I would decorate a uh, game room if I had it. Underneath here is my bathroom. Bathroom continuing with the uh, green theme. You have the sink here, little green corner here. The dirty tub as usual. I mean, Bethesda, come on now. I mean, can't you give us a clean tub? Um, shower. That's it. Clean, to clean toilet overlooks our backyard all right let's go around here 
let's go up up let me for some reason it's weird right here like i can't you can't step up you have to jump up you get stuck right here i think it's because of the double um uh, the double walls and then at that this is a doorway underneath it so bedroom's modest bedroom's real modest um i was gonna bring the green theme up here too but I think I got tired of doing that budget glitch because it takes forever at that time. So just somewhere to sit down, watch TV, another flat screen TV against the wall. Um, this is before I learned how to do the surround sound things too. Uh, I don't even think we had the pieces I needed for the surround sound at that time. We didn't have them yet. Something basic. Um, and that's up here for a little privacy. What else is there? Um, let's go back down. So let me jump up here. And this up here is, I have one generator up here for the uh, electricity up top for this side. And one over here for the top for this side. Oh, and this is actually something I do for all my camps too. Not a lot of people notice, but I do. I put um, the... Sure, I forgot what it's called. Um, the veins up here. Now, mind you, if you look, I always try to make them exactly right. So, I'm facing north right now, right? And let's bring up the map and look. Um, whoop, I'm almost facing north. There we go. And there we go. We're pointing right. I always try to make it right. Pointing the right way. So this is my last legacy camp. This is the last camp I made with that budget glitch and before they can't, no, actually I made this way beforehand. I had other legacy camps that I made right before the, um, the um, glitch was fixed. Um, and they put these restrictions on here, but I tore those down. This was one, this was my favorite. So I kept it up for a long time, but I'm running out of, actually I have no more slots open for me to build and I don't want to tear down my current builds. So I may tear this one down. Um, I kind of have an idea. Uh, yesterday I posted up uh, some of the pitch, some pictures of camps I want to make, and I kind of picked one of my head. What I'm going to do? Actually, there's two that I picked. Uh, there's one that's hanging off a cliff, and there's one that's really like really small with a car underneath it. And I think I'm going to do that one first. Oh, I forgot my sliding wall. Yeah, um, now I have a whole different technique of using sliding walls, so this is old. I used to use this as a giant um, door handle to slide slide the wall across. Um, but that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like a sliding wall. The reason I did this is because at the time, since we didn't have some of the tools we had, since this side is offset from that side, the walls were offset. And I didn't take the time out to, I could have fixed everything and made the uh, walls match. And um, if, I mean, knowing now, I mean, knowing then that well, I know now, I would have uh, had the walls match and then slid the uh, foundations over. And just offset this private wall to match the other walls. Um, but hey, live and learn, or just learn, you know, learn new techniques. And then again, we still didn't have those uh, catwalks at the time. So and the catwalks are a lifesaver when it comes down to offsetting everything. But that's it. That's my um, build. This is my last legacy build. The last um, one I have left. This is my favorite. That's why this was labeled home. Um, I'm going to miss it. I don't think I'm going to build here again, though. I may at one point or another, but I'll, my next build probably won't be. Then again, I may. Um, not sure is it. But I think I have a good idea where I want to build it. Oh, here's another thing too. I do a lot. Um, my ceiling fans with the light on it. You know, nice double combo. They have um, ceiling fans with lights on it, but they're small. I like these huge ones here, these windmill ones. Uh, 
All right. It was a nice showing y'all my uh, last legacy camp showing it off. I'll probably spend this weekend tearing it down and finding a new build, finding a new place. I kind of have an idea where, kind of, but yeah. But I will show it off. I may record the whole building process and speed up some things, but that'll take some editing. Um, but I'll probably do it this weekend. I was happy I was able to show all show this off, and I'll be seeing y'all soon with my new build. Thank you.